Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this small handle to help me with paint job on the miniature models I'm doing. It fits good in my hand and I did a little fusion design and I'm going to show you how, how I did it. So stick around and let's see after the intro how, how it connect. So this will be a, like a short video tutorial on how to create a simple object like this in Fusion 360. It's a quite uh, simple design and everybody should be able to, to do a design like this. So let's uh, jump over to Fusion and, and have a look in there how to, how to do it. So for this design I, I want to fit nicely into my hand and, and you can adjust the size uh, depending on your hand size so it fits, fits in good. But to start with, we are going to create a sketch. So I'm going to set that at the front plane. And first I want to do a line. So I hit L for line and create the middle. And I want this to be 30 millimeters. That's the base, like the half of the base. And the height, I want to have in this direction um, 70. And the basic shape is uh, like a, a cylinder but I want to have a have a small groove in the top so here I enter 25 and I want to have a lip on it so each uh, part here is five millimeters as well um, then I want to have a curve um, shape like, like this curved shape um, I'm going to go into uh, fit point spline and I'm going to click here, uh, click here, click here, click here, then I get the, the basic shape. Um, <coughs> I can adjust this by moving the, the points and the, the, on this sizing of this also is something you can adjust to to fit good in your hand so this is the the basic shape <coughs> i'm going for um, i want those edges here to be rounded um, uh, you can go into fill it and s select the lines and i'm gonna hit two i think that's gonna be a good good fit um, again fill it for this one two um, again for this is going to be two so this is going to be nicely rounded off I'm also going to add a little bit of fillet on, on this one um, maybe three or five maybe so this one is, is smooth as well so now I've got those smooth edges so here for the bottom I want to make an adjustment I want to I don't want to have a, like a flat bottom, so I'm going to create a line like five centimeters in, and 45 degrees up, um, and like this. So <coughs> I'm going to hit T for trim and trim those lines. And here I got the basic shape of of the of the the thing uh, now it gives me a warning saying my constraints are not happening anymore because i removed the, the leg here so so those restraints are invalid so i can just remove those but now i want to create a physical object out of this so I can hit finish sketch and go into create and create a revolve um, this shape is selected, but for the axis, it's going to be this one here. Um, now it revolves around itself and, and creates this this basic shape. Um, um, what I got here printed out is, is somewhat similar. It, uh, just, you can play around with the curve. Uh, you can go back into the curve, edit the sketch, and, and push some. And, and, change the shape if you if you feel so so you can do do changes afterwards um, when you hit finish the the physical object is, is uh, changed as well but I want to create those small uh, grooves here for my thumb 
I want my thumb to rest uh, on the a small groove. So what I do is to go back into the sketch. Um, I want to create a, a small groove in, in this area. So I go to create uh, create arc three point arc. And select where I want to begin and where I want to end and, and maybe have a small indent like this <coughs> and then I hit finish sketch and now I want to show the sketch again so it's here but to, to select the face you can hold down the right or the left mouse button and, and select the profile and what I want to do is to extrude this profile out and cut away from the material. So I hit E for extrude and I cut out and you can see now I've got the half of it. But going here on the direction side you can hit two sides and then you can select the other side. And now I cut out a groove that would fit my thumb. And what I want to do now is to uh, have this uh, groove rotated around the object. So to do that I can use a feature here called pattern and go circular pattern uh, then select this face and then select the axis. The axis is the, is the middle axis uh, and now I can select how many how many cutouts I want to do. Um, select five maybe six so have them overlap so maybe five is is good good number and um, then i hit okay and now i have the, the repeated pattern all around so now i can print this out it doesn't need any support and what you can do is um, if you go into the sketch and adjust this uh, line in the initial drawing uh, based on your hand size uh, then you can do it uh, a smaller or bigger. Uh, I want to have it relatively similar to a soda can, <laughs> so to speak. So I was comfortable with uh, this size, but uh, this is all it takes. So here's the, the final object. Uh, it's a very simple design. It takes not a long time to throw up in Fusion. I will post this model on, on Thingiverse. Um, Prusa printers and link to it in the video description if you want to download it and, and print it out but I encourage you to just open Fusion and, and design yourself uh, have it uh, fit nicely in your hand and adjust the size of, of the grips to your fingers so they feel nice in your hand and then I have a model here and this is just blue tack uh, putty <laughs> and put the model on and, and, and paint it. Uh, you can maybe use clay as well. I don't know what's the best maybe but uh, like this blue tech seems to work quite nice and then you can hold this and, and, and paint. So that's uh, the purpose of, of this simple thing. <laughs> this will be it for this video. I'm Martin and you're watching 3TP Iceland. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, please subscribe and ring that bell and, and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the video description of what you think. But for now, I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.